Looks like it's finally game over for Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter. That man is homeless, in need of doctors, in debt, and potentially running from jail time. And get this, he also recently begged the court to ask Wendy to resume her alimony checks and also managed to get the court to listen to his case about his wrongful termination by the producers of The Wendy Williams Show. Wow, he really does not know when to stop. But that's also not all, because Homeboy is also facing a another legal battle of his own that could land him in jail. Girl, he's really gonna need all the money he can possibly get at this point. So y'all have been witnessing Kevin Hunter's downfall in real time. I mean, not so long ago, Kevin was hit with a lawsuit from UBS Bank accusing him of refusing to pay up on his credit card. In the lawsuit, UBS said that Kevin applied for a Visa signature card in 2014, but Kevin breached the deal by failing to make the required payments. UBS also also said Kevin owes over 20k plus attorney's fees saying in court documents defendant has failed to make the minimum monthly payments by the payment due date as required by the card member agreement now we all know what could happen to Kevin if he doesn't pay up which is probably why he is turning every stone upside down looking for money Kevin previously put his house up for sale for 1.3 million dollars and took two loans out on two luxury cars through a company called flex wealth now he has sold the house which he purchased in Parkland, Florida for $795,600 in 2020 and lived in with fiance or maybe ex-fiance Sharina Hudson. And he just recently sold the house he bought after Wendy divorced him. And that means Kevin is officially homeless. And now he is doing everything he can to still go after Wendy's money. And even before that, Kevin had also done everything that he could to keep getting checks from the Wendy Williams bank. He actually had the audacity to sue her and say in court documents that he 100% depended on the alimony payments, which were agreed to in their marital settlement agreement, saying, I have fallen behind on most of my bills. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowners association, and I'm behind on that bill. After Kev filed the lawsuit, the judge ruled that Wendy would not have to resume cutting Kevin's alimony checks. The judge actually found that Kevin's request was not emergent and ordered his application to be dismissed without prejudice. The judge also denied Kevin's request request for attorney fees to be paid by Wendy and asked him to refer to their divorce papers, which clearly said, if for any reason Wendy's contract with talk show Wendy Williams is not renewed and or is otherwise suspended, canceled, or terminated, and Wendy does not have any other television show being aired and paying her an equivalent salary, Kevin understands and agrees that all severance payments shall be subject to either termination or modification. Reportedly, Kev was in court again, recently begging to continue his alimony payment to keep the house, seemingly to no avail. Allegedly, Kevin doubled down on his claims that amid Wendy's battle with Wells Fargo over the right to her multi-million dollar fortune, his alimony checks were wrongfully stopped. Remember, Wells Fargo froze Wendy's accounts over concerns that Wendy was of unsound mind and the bank suspected financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influence. And Wendy even went on a rant saying that it was unfair. My favorite is that I've been asking questions about my money. And when I began asking questions about my money, suddenly Lori Schiller has got no response regarding my money. I want my money, this is not fair. And Wells Fargo has no questions and answers with regarding my money. This is, this is not fair. So there was even no money to give Kev, but guess what? When Kevin failed to get Wendy to resume her alimony checks, he decided to go after the Wendy Williams show and filed a $10 million lawsuit against the daytime talk show's production company. I don't recommend that you work with your husband because I made him my manager. And then when I decided to divorce him, he had to be fired. Yeah. In other words, I made him divorced and unemployed all in one day. In his complaint, Kevin claimed that he was fired from his job as executive producer at the Wendy Williams show because his marriage to Wendy was ending and court documents filed by his lawyer said Kevin was used to being behind the scenes of Williams's prior ventures and used his business knowledge and street smarts to negotiate a significant financial increase from the initial contract being offered to Williams. The Wendy Williams show dominated the 10 a.m. daily morning time slot and to date, no network has been 
unable to beat the show at this time slot. According to Kevin, he was an important part of the show's success during his time as executive producer from 2007 until 2019. In his suit, he claimed negotiations for Wendy's show started in 2007, and the talk show was given a six-week trial which exceeded all expectations. He actually said that he was behind iconic segments like Hot Topics and Wendy's Shoe Cam. In addition, Kevin said that he had the final say on guests, developed marketing plans to boost ratings, developed contacts in the media, helped bridge the gap between the show and the African-American community, and helped develop security procedures for his then-wife. To make matters worse, Kevin also said the producers were planning to use many of the elements from Wendy's show on their new talk show with Sherry Shepard, which, according to him, broke New York law. So basically, his argument was that the termination was based strictly upon his marital status and his impending divorce to Wendy, ignoring all of the contributions that he made to make the show a success. But the producers begged to differ and filed a motion to dismiss the case, which was rejected by the court. And Kevin's attorney also clapped back in a statement saying, Mr. Hunter is happy that the court denied Wendy's producer's motion to dismiss and that he will ultimately see his day in court. Mr. Hunter was instrumental in making the Wendy Williams show the success that it was before it went off the air. And the only reason he was terminated was because his marriage was ending with Wendy. Nothing at all based on the merits of his performance. Kevin even leaked the email that was sent to him by the producers, which said in part, Dear Kevin, out of respect for our 10-year working relationship, we had hoped to meet you in person and traveled to New York to do so. But unfortunately, you have canceled today's meeting and we are left with no choice but to communicate to you in writing that effective immediately, your role as executive producer of The Wendy Williams Show is terminated and your professional relationship with Debmar Mercury is also concluded. In connection with the termination of employment, you are no longer permitted on the studio premises and all communication regarding your transition, including collection of your belongings from the studio premises, should be handled via your attorney, as you have indicated that you are represented by counsel. Fortunately for Kevin, the civil court judge pointed to his dismissal letter sent to him, noting that the termination letter made no reference to any performance-related reasons or any decisions related to Kevin's employment as an executive producer. The judge said that in their request for a dismissal, the show's lawyers failed in their argument that Kevin's case fell outside of marital discrimination in New York State human rights law, since it only applied to people who are married or unmarried. But the production's legal team tried to argue that the law does not apply to discrimination based on being married to a particular person. Because of that, Kev will have his day in court, but that does not mean that he is doing okay. And you know, Kevin is apparently not just homeless and over, but also hella single. Now I am hearing that her ex-husband Kevin and Sharina are no longer together, and you know what that is. Well, come on now. The money going. Well, there have also been reports recently saying that Kevin is the one leaking information about his situation because he is trying to get back together with Wendy and spend her money again. I mean, we already know that Wendy is currently barely in charge of anything, and Kevin may have seen an opportunity to get back in her life and take advantage of her like other people working for Wendy. Kev Jr. already told the son that Wendy's health has been pushed aside while people around her are probably profiting from the project she's involved in. He said that people around Wendy don't really care about her health and are pushing her to keep on earning money. And in his opinion, that should not be a priority at all. According to Kev Jr., whoever has been hired, they are taking advantage of someone who needs to get better. But do you think that Big Kev actually intends to get back together with Wendy? And is there a possibility that Wendy would take him back? Anyway, if things go well for Kevin, he might get money from the producers of The Wendy Williams Show. But knowing Kevin, he's probably not going to put the money to good use. But until then, he is homeless and alone. But what are your thoughts on Kevin taking Wendy to court again and suing the producers of The Wendy Williams Show? Do you think he will at least win that case? Also, do you think he might land himself in jail with all these lawsuits also coming up against him? Drop those thoughts in the comments section below.